Blue rose. Roll, roll a nature. I can throw you a nature. Uh, I don't add this. I don't add that. All right, I took the bad luck for you. Thanks, sport. Uh, can I steal a bardic, or you want to hold on to this because I don't know how many you have? Wait, you I, do have a rest. Uh, half a short rest, yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, sure, it might be valuable information. Hey, you want to use that on your? <laughs> I have a reroll. Uh, we're gonna do that one more. Gonna do that one more. That's significantly better. Would it be hilarious if I silvery bard? I really want a rat. <laughs> Take the O. <laughs> so, you see that there are several types. The types you can make out are uh, cloves, aloe vera, Ooh. chamomile, Ooh. Uh, as well as um, cocoa. Stuff. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Cocoa. Like, mm -hmm. like chocolate. Correct. Uh, cocoa, cocoa beans are supposedly met Medicinal. As well as Java beans. Coffee. This is this is familiar. This is something Eric did in the past. Twenty five. That's pretty good. We can make mocha on this island with chocolate and coffee. Yeah, and the the first ones can be used as anesthetics as well. Ah. What? Cam like camo could be used Do as anesthetics. These... Do do these plants normally grow in the same climate, atmosphere, region, tropical region? Absolutely not. Okay, that's what I figured the answer was. Why are all of these here? And then you come to what looks like some sort of X in the middle. Hmm. What was that story? Mr. Bosch told me X marks the spot. Ew. Ugh. It's not algae at all. <laughs> what is it then? Slime. Slime? Ugh. Slime? Yes. Like... <laughs> he pops Some out of a bush. <laughs> like the, the stuff they use in a city light is good for your skin? So holding slime? it up and like sloughing it off of her hand. Yeah. No. Looks like something a fish or a snake would make. Huh. Something like that. Maybe it's like a mucus eel membrane. Or something. That's right. what called eels. Hmm. <laughs> oh, but what's making it? Nothing should be producing it. Unless. Oh, Taps foot against ground. This thing's still making it. Uh, what else did you find? Uh, the next. Uh, he'll hold up a sample of all the different plants. A bunch of very medicinal leaning plant life that don't grow anywhere near the same areas. Hello, <laughs> clove, chamomile, cocoa, java. Hmm. That's strange. Extremely. She rolls. Thinking with her big brain. And she rolls the GM, doesn't she? No, she doesn't! Pull the buds. Oh! Hey, nice. When it fucking counts. Hmm. This looks almost like chrono aromatism. Mm, what? Too sciencey of a term. Could you dumb it down for me? My goodness. Even the Cathars understood this. You worked with Cathars? Worked is a strong term. She says, recalling the time she was schooled by Ismanov. Mm hmm. Chrono aromatism. This essentially means it's something that both accelerates and depresses. These work to block or slow down impede, retard, and these work to accelerate. So it creates a natural balance if you have the both of them. Right. Hmm. They work at opposite effects, really. One is more stimulant, one is depressant. Hmm. And I would not recommend turning that into any powder and using them both at the same time. 
<laughs> right, what? you don't recommend it. Sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Clint. You should not do an upper and a downer at the same time. Don't know if this is genuine medical uh, advice or are you're we just still trying talking to... about plants. Uh, it's adjacent. More like medicine. Yeah, you should find what? out anything this uh, Sandy X here. She just like holds her hand down and rubs it. Something just feels off. In a good way or a bad way? She starts sliding some sand by. Actually, wait a second. That's how you could, you're gonna slide this. <laughs> uh, you have a berry oh, chest. Wait, I the, yeah, she just mo molds some earth. Oh. Hmm. It's like there's a. She taps it underneath, and it's almost like this crystalline structure. It's a show. Something, but it's buried underneath the openings on the underside. We have to go diving into the water, don't we? Are you trying to dive under a island? Do you even know how tectonic plates work? Uh, I probably have an idea, but at the same time, would you be surprised if I said this probably isn't an island? <laughs> Gonna head well, up down this way. Knock yourself out then. Uh, you got you got a UT fifty nine, the rebreather. He probably uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't think it'd be useful. How embarrassing! She tosses you over hers. Yep. He he does a a deep but faux but also meaningful bow. Please. Thank you for it. These rebreathers like are like snorkels, right? Like you fit them into your mouth and then they just sort of Right? Correct. Okay, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Very right. helpful when mixing chemicals. Makes sense. Yeah, congratulations, you two. You in a in a way sort of shared a kiss. Good luck down there. Gives you a bardic. Sounds jealous. Bite me, Doc. Bite me. <laughs> No, you just admitted your jealousy. Rapper points at Clint like, she's right, and then puts a thing she in his mouth. Rubbing some of the cocoa on her lip. Mm, chocolate. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think Bradford completely dives in, but he at least dunks his head to see if there's like, like a cave kind of thing in here. Oh, there certainly is. In this weird looking water that's nice and sludgy. Mm, uh, it's, it's discolored to be more green. You can see it. That's nasty. Uh, Did you he, dive in? He, he pulled his head out. Ah, this is gonna suck. Um, he would grab his trident, the trident bog serpent, and use it as I don't want to say like a divining rod, but like definitely using it to like move things out of his way, hoping that there's like oh hey it's a natural water thing. So, so you come those. up, grab the trident, and jump back in. Okay. Cool, just making sure I understood that right. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'm assuming out of nervousness. So you dive. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know how to pick them, Doc. And so you go down, it's like, gosh. Ever since... Ever since that Hydra, it's just like... Mm. It's okay, dog. You can just admit you're attracted to power. Well, obviously. <laughs> but it's just... You know, I think you had it in him. Yeah, well, killing a... Uh, killing? Defeating a Hydra does that to a guy. I hope. Bradford, you dive down deep into what becomes thicker and thicker mucusy sludge. Hmm. Uh, we don't have, like, underwater flares, right? Like, that's a Correct. UT. Okay. Uh, he's going to have to just deal with his dark vision. Uh, 
Unless he can, like, use control flames to make it... I don't know. I don't know how that would work, of, like, trying to use control flames to make a fire underwater. You know? I think it's kind of cool. Sure! One hand trident, one hand flames to try and see through muck and darkness, and he'll uh, not stop, because at this point he's just like, oh, I'm fucking determined to see what's down here. He's so determined. So as you enter the middle of the gelatinous cube... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Damn it! This is, I, was like, I was like, all right. <laughs> Five seconds later, he pops out, half melted. How? <laughs> Eventually, oh, hit a thud. Hmm. Uh, he tries to scrape away some of the goo to see what the thing he bumped into is. Gotcha. It's a skeleton. It's this. That little leafy thing. Oh, it's a shell! The magic conch shell? Oh my god, it's a magical conch. <laughs> we found it, dude. Yeah, our problems are solved. Hmm. As you no. see, and where you think would be dead middle of where the X would be, you find this conch deep within this goo. Hmm. Can he try to identify... I don't think conches really go to, like, specific animals. I think animals more find conches. Like, how are conches formed? Uh, it would be kind of hard to tell underwater in the midst of goo. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you, could, you could roll a disadvantage check. Uh, he'll, he'll look at I it, just, have uh, the same uh, thoughts uh, I just had, realize he's underwater, be like, maybe I should hold on to this for a minute. <laughs> Uh, uh, just go from uh, the crustaceous animals. They grow. That's cool. Um, well, is there, certain types of conches. Is there anything else amongst the goo besides more goo? Uh, hmm. You would find a smaller seashell like shell that does look like a conch, fashioned, lacquered. And ordained. It looks very valuable. Huh. And like you could use it to blow into if it wasn't full of gunk. Like it almost looks like it was like purposefully, not carved, but gilded. Correct. Yeah. As you move this giant shell, you see the smaller conch. Huh. He will grab both. Put them in. I assume he has like a bag or something. Uh, the conch you can put in. The shell is probably Me. slightly bigger than you. Slightly bigger Bam. than him. Yes. Uh, is, is he able to move? size accurate? Oh, size oh, accurate. Shit. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is he able to get it? Oh no, it ain't. Place, or is it like too damn heavy? Underwater, everything's much lighter. Yeah, and you're also quite strong. This is very true. He is in fact a strong. And you have a swim speed, right? Yeah. Yeah, this isn't a problem for you. Anyone else would be sucking. <laughs> like, like a handful of like, So you eventually come out, pull it out. Uh, I assume toss it onto the side. Uh, yeah, he'll, he'll like roll it up there. <laughs> yeah. I'm covered in fifteen types of goo. What the fuck is that? Uh, this is a conch shell. The and fuck's it, a conch? Uh, it's about... Oh, it comes from crustaceans. They kind of uh, grow it on their back as protective thing. Uh, it was a, <laughs> like, like, what's a crustacean? You see it move and straighten itself oh. up. Oh. Drop it immediately. Okay. Do they do that naturally? Oh, Joey. There's something inside. It was about where the X was. Well, roughly. Crash down next to it. Hello? <laughs> Knock you on see it. it like struggling, moving, turning. Uh, hello. <laughs> Is it? Uh, what you see? It's kind of like on the bottom. Is all all the bits? Uh, yeah, it's all gunked up. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, grab a branch and start scraping out. Don't worry. We'll help you. Scrape. Scrape. <laughs> Try to scrape all the goo out. Uh, while he's scraping, what kind of things do these creatures eat? 
Slash, is there that kind of around here? So when we get the goo out, we can make uh, it, lure it out. Hard to tell. However, we'll oh, see. it's more now. Oh no, there it goes. Oh, it is. <laughs> it's you see two little antennae pop out. Greetings, uh, children of men. <laughs> Wait, do we all want to say this? Or is it of, yeah, it it does. Does. it speaks common? It does. Uh, <laughs> it's just a fucking man sized snail that can talk common! Hi. Uh, my name is. They call me Clint. Do what you have. Uh, what may we call you? I am Sheldon. <laughs> Sheldon the snail? What no, are you? Just the shell. That oh. is why I need your help, child of man. Uh -huh. Well, we help a lot, a lot of people. Best we can, at least. Certainly, uh, uh, we'll be up the list. <laughs> Strange thing, though. One of the great protectors of the Sage of Twelve Paths is here, and it is in mortal danger. Uh, uh, can I roll a history check to see if that, like, registers anything? While he does that, can I just ping Victor and be like, what the f- what did he just say? <laughs> Actually, I wanted yeah. to know if they could show this. Uh, he would repeat back, like, what is the, the Victor of the Twelve Sages? Was that what he said? That's not even close to what he said. I'm just, gonna, I'm, twelve paths. I'm just gonna roll history. Twelve paths. Roll history. That's Look, pretty good. A... Yeah, this sounds like something out of a storybook. Ah, uh, classic board shit. Let's go. The sage of twelve paths would have been a legendary figure that united the natural world and created somewhat of a balance to it. How old is this story? Pre-fall, obviously. Pre-fall. But no... It's not pre-pre-fall, like, way early in Psychusia's history. Like we just Correct. Know. Gotcha. Much like... Uh, Children of Fraudna, uh, Lightborn, and Sisters... Are all dragons. People. Right. These are... Like a natural defense mechanism. Huh. So he said that the the sage of the twelve fucking hell sage of the twelve protectors is in danger. A servant of the sage of twelve paths. Jesus servant. Christ, <laughs> servant of sage of the twelve paths. Um, just asking, Sheldon. When what do you know? When the last time you came to the surface was? It has been far too long. I've been separated from Abacus for a long time now. Abacus? Like, the like Kotal image mimic using an Abacus? No, Abacus the snail. Abacus right. the hmm. Well, of course, Abacus the snail. <sighs> of course. Kotal eyes are like... <laughs> this is our lives. Your hands up. <laughs> like, this is our <laughs> lives now. I have no clue, but I find him really charming. He, no, is, he has a genesis qua about them. That was the princess word of ever said. So cute, huh? Wow. Where is the servant, Sheldon? When is the servant? Trapped under the mirror palace by the obsidian siren. Oh, this is a lot. Trapped, trapped under the mirror palace by the obsidian siren? Mirror Palace, Obsidian Siren. Does the Obsidian Siren reside in a tower of Obsidian? No! It's close to here. I can feel it. Mirror Palace. How can far we keep away up? is close? Like, uh, wh which direction is it? Points his antennas around. Northeast of here! Upstream. He's upstream. Can we go to that? Trapped under the mirror palace under the obsidian. What was it? Obsidian. By the obsidian siren. 
Behind this you. northeast of here. Sorry, northwest. Northwest of here. Northeast, southwest. There's nothing I mean, here that would dictate it. Does I don't know how palace unless it's underground. Unless yeah. he means up there. Unless he means up there. You know, what hard to say. What Can we go to the map? world map? Yes. After one second. Sure. Who knows? We are running well. over time, so that is that is something to be cognizant Ooh. of. Yeah, we we can call it there, but I will move you to the world map so you can do your hypothesizing. Uh, we still gotta find sure. Michael. So hey, thank you all for playing. Uh, sorry, we went a, a few minutes over. I apologize. Oh, good. Held in the fucking shell. <laughs> Held in the shell, motherfucker. At least he doesn't Sheldon say Mika. That's the shell. That's why I'm wondering if it's like a dark one that's tricking you. I mean, it's a trick. Don't believe that snail. I mean, if it leads us to a dark one for us to kill and get points, I'll take it. I can see a Drew tricking you. Maybe. God, what's even a title for this? Uh... What, what's Event it called? Event Horizon? Horizon? Yeah, Event Horizon. Uh, that's actually really good. Yeah. There you go. Got in one. Yo. Nice. <clears throat> good. Good. So what's northwest of... Because northwest of the gods... We're at the westmost point of the map with the god's eye, so like, what's north and west of here? Well, Northwest. Yeah. Mirror Palace. Mirror well, what's west of west, Doran? Oh, man. Yeah, I'd, we have to I'd do a tag, mirror next uh, Doran and Victor on the com link about all that and see if they can think of anything. Can we see the world map? You absolutely can. Uh, I am going to hop off for the night, guys. Yep. All right. Good night, man. See you guys good night, man. Good night. Yeah, hop us into have an idiot meeting. I haven't started doing it yet, but I want to theorize this first. Cringe. Mm -hmm. Imagine having fine. meetings. Yeah, it's a, it's it's when I gotta attend. It's a director meeting with all the big wigs. So, uh, <laughs> and my boss knows I have a proclivity of missing early meetings. Uh, that's where the um, Ravagers were sort of set up. Oh, yeah. okay, that's fun. North, so, yeah, there's a god's north. eye, so it's like. Northwest of the edge of the fucking western edge of the map. You sure you don't mean northeast, though? You sure? I am positive. Damn it. Okay, so if we're family. going on, because we had the theory that we're in a, I'll call it like an island, but that's not. I know this whole map isn't an island, but stick with me for a moment. We're on an island floating towards the deep ethereal. Right. Right, so this is after so the edges of the map are dead ass the edges of our island, so we can't go off of it, or else we die. We get consumed by mist and die. Actually, no, we don't get consumed by mist and die. We go into the void and die. So maybe Sheldon is from a time where that place does still exist over here, but because we're in the god's eye, time is irrelevant. So maybe that's why he still detects it, but we're at the edge of our known world. Before it becomes a void. Maybe, or maybe it's not so far away. The thing is, like, I don't know what be northwest of us on the God's Eye itself either. Because, like, mm. there's not much. Because we're on a pretty western point of the map. He said upstream. He did say upstream. But upstream isn't really northwest, it's just. Mm. probably north. Unless there's something in here. I mean, he did That's mention a cr crystal palace, and there's this structure up here near the water. Mirror palace. Well, these are water. These are waterfalls. And he said they were a mirror palace. Yeah. So, would could you constitute a series of waterfalls as mirrors? There's something poetic about that. The, qu the question is, what the fuck is the Obsidian Siren? Hmm. 
There's also the possibility B -b 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 that... Bonus fight. I'll take it. There is also the possibility that Sheld ends up being literal. And so he's saying things like Mirror Palace or whatever, and it's it's not actually a Mirror Palace. It's just this lake reflected. Yeah, which is why I think it might be the waterfall, because it looks like a palace. Like, when I first no saw way. it, I thought this was, like, some sort of structure. Also, mm. he's a fucking shell, so maybe his intelligence is high enough <laughs> <laughs> to, to hey, notice hey, hey, and is smart as a, mm, It's a pretty smart guy. Smart, smart as a shell! <laughs> isn't smart he? as a shell, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, you could ask Erica, <laughs> like, listening to them talk, how do you rate their intelligence? I don't know if we can constitute them as, like, a normal... Have, have we considered dissection? <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Did anyone insight check this fucking show? Erica, please do not no. do test card. Well, what, we're doing next session. <laughs> I think we're all, all caught right, back by middle of fucking nearly dying to a black hole. But chill, though. Yeah. But yeah. chill, though. I wanted it would to, also, I wanted uh, to Bradford would also show off the um, other shell. It's a very valuable one that looks what? like it could be a horn. <laughs> I see my brains! <laughs> that he's, that he just goes, that's Abacus, what did you do to him? <laughs> I turned him into fine jewelry, goodbye, and he dives into the water. You know, they shoot 70 magic missiles at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have hands, but I can still cast! <laughs> I can cast these in 10 eye. Imagine if it had uh, death rays like a beholder out of each antenna. I was thinking the uh, crystal scales in Elden Ring. <laughs> the ones that could like summon stuff and shoot magic at you. <laughs> this guy would become one of the hardest things in the field. We can take him to Salazar. <laughs> Northwest, upstream. And I mean, honestly, if he does turn out to be a dark one and he's containable. We we have our dark one <laughs> to make them lose points if they attack. True. Also, northwest. I know I'm not gonna harp on it because I don't fucking know. But upstream, the streams upstream doesn't mean north. It doesn't mean directly up. It means up upward. So the streams come from this waterfall. You can see where it trails out here, right? I know there's a pass through here, but regardless, the water still comes from this source. So We're this would be the, the top. idea of upstream. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Because it would be the top of the stream. Also, we're following video game way. logic. There's always something behind the fucking waterfall. 